what's going on everybody welcome to the channel today if you enjoyed this review please drop a like and please subscribe down below i appreciate all the support from everybody and as you can see we have something special in front of us by the title of the video that's probably why you're here and you can see the box nike craft on top with this squiggled out swoosh general purpose shoe is actually the name of the model of the sneaker tom Sachs is the artist and if we flip it around this collaboration is the general purpose shoe in light cream white light bone these are in women's sizing when they went all the way up so you just had a look at both sizings that they had on the website i went with a women's 13 and a half which is a men's 12. i will discuss why that was a little bit of a mistake and the retail is not posted right there but it was 130 us and inside you have plain paper but on the lid it does have a little bit about the nike craft i will leave that there for a second so you can pause if you really want to read it and this particular pair of Nike Tom Sachs came out on, I believe, June 10th was on the Tom Sachs website 2022 for 130 US. That was without shipping. I think with shipping, they were 142 or 140. It was like 10 or $12 domestic in US for shipping. And this is what we are looking at today. So before I actually bring it up to the screen real quick, I want to discuss Tom Sachs. He is an artist out of New York City, where I'm from. And at the same time, he has been around for a long time in the contemporary art scene. We've seen collaborations with Nike from him for a long time now. Well, for some of you, it may be long. For me, it's not too long, but it's still a good amount. Ten years now, the first Mars Yard shoe, I will put a photo up there, came out in 2012. They did a Mars Yard 2.0, which you'll see a photo of. We also had the Mars Yard Overshoe. And if you did not know, the original Mars Yard shoe was actually done for a whole space camp thing. And they actually took material from the rover bag to kind of show a little bit of the uh, space influence and the material and just the way they did this though was a little bit less in terms of a space it's more of a general purpose shoe you know just a regular cut silhouette but you still have some of that Tom Sachs influence these did sell out they weren't even a first come first serve they were a raffle on the Tom Sachs website and I was extremely lucky to get a pair for retail I don't usually win raffles like that but this one i did and i'm really happy for it and the only thing i would like to discuss is go true to size i sometimes look at the lining around here and because of the thinner lining and depending on the shoe runs sometimes it'll be a half size big this was a mistake i would stay true to size i'll leave that in text as well i should have got a 13 instead of a 12 that was my mistake i don't know how i could say about width but for me i wish i would have got a 13 even if i would have had a little wiggle room the 12 is too tight so do not go down i would stay true to size if you can Overall, it's a nice mix of materials. They feel good in hand. You have suede going across the toe cap right here. You have a little bit of this kind of plasticky rubber overlay over this netted mesh. Or <laughs> over, you have a plastic kind of overlay over this netted mesh material. There is a look at your swoosh in white. You have an off-white kind of cream color here. Off-white kind of color on the netting. A kind of a soft grayish white going across the eyelets in suede. Same color as the toe cap little more suede lined right here above the midsole and on the back heel area and heel tab your midsole is this weird textured kind of like not rattan color it's like a mud brown it's kind of hard to describe i'm not sure exactly what the name of that color is but you can see the little speckle kind of like pebble raindrop kind of pattern there is a deep treaded black outsole let me flip that around so you guys can read it correctly there is the nike craft underneath the heel and then your us patent number right below on the arch of the foot area there is your medial side with the same stitching and color blocking you have on the lateral white swoosh and the cream and off-white kind of gray soft colors going around to the back heel tap area you have nike print or stamped on right there in kind of a cool writing and your suede there is a blue heel kind of loop area and if we flip around to the toe box there is no perforation but you have a little bit of an off kind of design with that lining suede going up only pair of laces you get are these flat kind of soft gray laces you have this almost like an off white if that you're familiar with that that whole kind of punched um, foam tongue and you have meshing overneath the tongue is very lightweight it's very flexible it's very flimsy I kind of like the way it feels once again do not go down I would stay true to size there is your Nike tag on top of the tongue in white with the orange swoosh a little bit of the blue highlights to match the other blue back here and your insole is also that nice, kind of like a game royal blue. And Nike Craft is stamped right there underneath the heel. There's a look at your lining and a little bit of padding back here around the ankle and heel area. 
So overall, these are pretty damn nice. Tom Sachs underneath right there if you want to see the tag. Your sizing tag is off there to the side with your production dates. And other than that, there's not too much else to talk about. I'm going to leave the review there. Overall, this is a pretty dope shoe that's done with an artist that we are familiar with if you're a sneakerhead and if you're not welcome to the culture and the community of being a sneakerhead because i don't know many people who'd be looking for these unless they were starting to get into or were into sneakers the general public i don't think even pays attention to this stuff but hey that's why we're here i like them i think they're probably a solid solid shoe now the one thing i want to say here is don't take my advice to heart but i do want to throw some advice out there i think this is kind of like a pre air max day colorway I don't know if they're going to restock this colorway, and if they do, it might only be once or twice. From what I've seen, the shoes coming out in the future are all different colorways, and because this is the original release of the General Purpose shoe in the original colorway, I have a feeling if you hold on to these for at least a year, they're going to go back up to what they were doing before, like $800, $1,000. So this could be an expensive shoe in the future. For me, I might hold on to these since they don't fit and see maybe how they do on the market. Other than that, that's the only advice I'm going to give for financial or investing because I really don't like to do that. At the same time, I don't want you guys to lose money. But at the same time, if I see there's an opportunity maybe where you can make money, I do want to say something because it's what I'm going to do. But if I fail, you're going to fail too. So that's the problem. So take it with a grain of salt. You can listen to me or not. It's up to you. But other than that, I'm going to leave it there and stop rambling on. I thank you guys for stopping by today. Let me know what you think down below of the Tom Sachs General Purpose Shoe. Do you like these? Of course, I like the Mars Yard better. But if you look at the price on those, I am not buying them anytime soon. But other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by today. I hope you stick around. I have more good content coming shortly. And I hope everybody has a great day. All right.